Hello, it's John Owens here from Aussie Brew. I've uh, not done a video for a couple of weeks, but I'm still around, folks. Uh, not a lot to report, really. Um, but I will report that I uh, got one of these very nice looking beers, the Witchwood Firecatcher. That was a pound at um, somewhere. Where was it a pound? At a local um, place that sells beer. <laughs> pound a bottle. It's, uh, I say I've not had this before, Pound, it's from the Witchwood, warming hints of honeyed nectar will spark the intense and sharp gooseberry flames, a refreshing crisp catch, smouldering in citrus aromas that will leave you glowing inside, it's 3.5%, and uh, hmm. let's have a go, Pound a bottle, you can't go wrong. Which would be is the only problem I find is you can't use the bottle for home brewing because you can't get the capper to cap over the bulbous end. It's quite a golden ale, looks a bit like a lager. You see what I mean? On the uh, quite wide, so if you're thinking of investing in some Witchwoods to drink, obviously, but to use the bottles for home brewing, well, with the type of capper I use, you can't do it. I'll just show you the type of capper. You can probably use other cappers. But this type of capper, it catches when you're trying to, uh, when you are trying to cap on one of these Witchwood bottles. No goody, unfortunately. And that's a taste of this. Looks nice, nice and clear. Quite fresh in that, like it's a lager esque, yeah, dazzling golden beer. Very refreshing for some of that. Might be worth getting a few bottles in there for a Barbie. Can't go far wrong. What have we been up to? Right, I've been uh, <coughs> brewing my uh, Muntins, I don't know if you can see that, the uh, Continental Pilsner, the Muntins Continental Pilsner. Been in the FV for about uh, five or six days at uh, 18, between 18 and 20 degrees, and uh, I believe it's uh, it's a good kit. It's a two can kit that I got from uh, Creation Homebrew. Um, I think this, they've still got some kits left, and the website is still going there for at least a few days. I think uh, very good. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a dry hop with some SARS hops. Homebrew UK got these from. Now these are leaf hops. I thought I'd got pellets, but uh, I've got leaf hops, <coughs> 100 gram bag, uh, 2015 harvest. What I'm going to do in a few days is throw about 25 grams. I did a bit of a asked a question out there on the Lakey Bloke, on the Lakey Bloke forum and a few of the forums. What's a good um, amount to dry hop uh, a lager kit with? With, before you go over the top and uh, to give it a tweak and uh, 25 grams was the uh, resounding answer so there we go 25 grams of SARS will be going into the continental pills now excuse me I also got some more hops when I was at it <coughs> I got some Cascade pellets and I got some Columbus and uh, what I'm going to do I've got another one of the uh, Cooper's IPA kits which are absolutely fantastic for tweaking uh, I've got some Falconer's flight hops hot pellets left but not a lot so I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna do throw some hops in a mini boil of DME with that kit probably some Falconer's flight and then I'm gonna do some more hopping and some dry hopping using some of the Columbus and some of the Cascade and uh, I'm pretty sure that will turn out nice what else has been going on I bottled my St Peter's uh, golden ale about three or four days ago and it's clearing nicely I just did the kit no additions retain the same yeast I've had a couple of problems recently by trying to be too clever and trying different adjuncts and things like that and uh, so I just thought I'd go back to what I know best which is kits 
brewing kits well and tweaking kits. So if these are if these golden ales come out nicely, I shall be reserving one or two for the likes of Adam and Steve Molson, who uh, recently sent me beer mails, and I'll be popping some of my better tweaked kit beers into the post to you guys. So thanks very much for sending me those. Um, is there anything else to say? No, not really. Oh, I did um, keg my Muntons Stout, uh, and I have to report that that is looking fine. Uh, I did draw off a pint. So it's been in, been in the in the barrel, the King Keg for about twelve days now, and I drew off a pint the other night, and it's carbed up. I don't want it to be too carved, that's why I put it in the barrel. But it's actually uh, <coughs> carbed up. Yeah, well, it's about uh, about nine bar. Nine bar, according to the um, the pressure gauge on it, and uh, the flavour's all there. It's really nice. It's not doesn't taste of Guinness. Um, I'd be amazed if it did, but it's a nice flavour, some stout, and it's going to be a cracker. Another two or three weeks in there, maybe a bit longer. And uh, as I say, with those king cogs, king kegs with the sparkler taps, you get a really nice pour. So anyway, guys, that's me. Uh, that's me done. Not a lot going on. I am brewing. But I've just not got anything of any great interest to say. So uh, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll enjoy the rest of this uh, Witchwood Firecatcher, which I'm going to buy some more of these and uh, save them for a nice sunny day. They. That is a nice beer. Very nice. Anyway, cheers, guys. All the best.